This is the G7 Ballistic Rangefinder, and I'm going to show you how to program a ballistic profile into the device so the device can calculate your exact ballistic solution. I've got this setup built so that we've got a, our G7 BR2 Rangefinder mounted on this plate with a small HD camera mounted behind, and I'm recording what you would actually see in the device. So I'm going to be able to look at the LCD panel and press the buttons and show you step by step how to program and how to adjust these things. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is wake the device up by pressing the fire button. And then you can see in the top right hand corner it indicates that we're on profile number three. So we're going to access the programming menu by pressing and holding the mode button for five seconds. Now in that programming menu there's three options. We've got crosshair, we've got backlight, and then we have the profile selection. So I'm going to select the profile selection for editing by pressing the fire button once and I can scroll through the different profiles that are already programmed which are profile number one, seven millimeter, two is a six five, three is a six XC and I've got a seven rem on four. Profile five's empty. So to program this profile I need to select it for editing and then I'm going to review by scrolling through the different items. So MOA drag standard, ballistic coefficient, muzzle velocity, sight height, and zero range. Now, if we change the drop unit to BDC, we'll see we have two extra inputs for altitude and temperature when we're using a BDC turret. So let's start by programming the uh, drop unit. To select this item for editing and put it in the edit stage, I hit the fire button, and then to adjust the item, I use my scroll button. I'm going to scroll up. I can do inches, BDC or MOA. Now MOA outputs your MOA correction. BDC outputs a shoot to range. That's your equivalent range. So 700 yards or 650 shoot to for conditions. So I'm going to adjust this to BDC and to save that I hit the mode button. That steps us back up to the BD, uh, ballistic menu. So let's go the drag standard. Almost all of our bullets are referenced to the G7 or G1 dra standard drag model. If we want, we can adjust that to the G7. Uh, I'm going to recommend use G1 unless you're uh, in the know and you've already calculated your ballistic parameters using a G7. Now the ballistic coefficient is going to be either a G1 or a G7. Almost all manufacturers are referencing the G1. So to adjust that item, I'm going to select it for editing by pressing fire. Now you can see that one of the digits is, is flashing. That means I can adjust it by using my scroll buttons. Let's program a 617. So there's 6. The fire button also advances to the next item and scroll up 1 and then fire and I'm going to scroll down 3. Now once you've got your ballistic coefficient programmed, to store that entry I press the mode button once. That stores that entry and returns us up to that ballistic input menu and then I'm going to use my arrow buttons to advance to the next item which is muzzle velocity. Now to select the muzzle velocity for editing, I hit the fire button, then we scroll up, let's do 3,000 feet per second, store it by pressing the mode button, go to the next one, sight height, I'm going to use 1.7. So now I've, I'm flashing on one, I don't want to adjust that, so I just hit fire button to advance, scroll up two to 1.7, and mode button to save. Now sight height's done, I'm back at that main menu, let's go turret temperature, I've got a 5,050 degree turret, so I want to select that for editing. Scroll down one and then store it by pressing mode, advance to the next one, select it for editing. 5,000 feet. And if you, if you, let's say you make a mistake and you want to go back, you just fire button, go all the way back around and adjust it to where you want it and then store that by pressing the mode button. Now the last thing that we need to program is the zero range. Select that one for editing by pressing fire, scroll up to 200 yards, save it with mode. Now if we review, we've got zero range 200, turret altitude 5000, turret temp 50, sight height is 1.7, muzzle velocity is 3000 feet per second, ballistic coefficient is 0.617, the drag standard is G1 and the drop unit is in BDC. That'll output a shoot to range. Now to save this profile, we're going to hit the mode button once, that'll return us up to profile 5 and then the mode button one more time. It takes 14 seconds to calculate that ballistic profile 
build the tables that I need, and then when I go to use the range finding device, I'll press the fire button, it'll measure pressure, it'll measure temperature, side angle, and line of sight distance, and make a real ballistic calculation based on this program table. So it's done calculating, it, I'm at profile selection, which if you remember is our main programming menu. So I've got the crosshair, the backlight, and the profile. Now, I need to go back to that fire uh, main display so that I can take a range. I'm going to press mode one more time. Now I'm at the main display. You can see in the top right hand corner we're at P5. So I know that I've got my profile I just programmed. I'm ready to press and hold the fire button to get a range and then the corresponding minute of angle correction to compensate for a bullet drop. The most important thing when programming the G7 uh, ballistic rangefinder is just understanding what your buttons do. Know what the scroll buttons do, understand the mode button and its functions, and the fire button and its functions. Uh, if you do that and then review the, the, the ballistic programming menus, the main display, the, the main programming menu, and then the ballistic programming inputs, if, if you review those things uh, and, and have those set in your mind, then it's very easy to access those anytime. If you program this at home, when you're in the field, it's a very simple thing to press the fire button, collect that ballistic information, make a ballistic solution, and take the shot.